Good morning YouTube, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking. Um, it's a Sunday morning today, the weather isn't as good as it's been, but it's not raining, so I thought it's time to review this product. And this is the product. A stainless steel mesh burner. It's basically a, a tripod, um, I guess for camping and things like that. The box did make me laugh because on here there's all kinds of um, translated phrases which uh, aren't quite on point as such. Strong heat resistance, not easy to corrosion, don't worry about it, will break. But um, I think there's lots of different variants of this particular product. I'll put the link in the description below for, um, for this one that I've bought. But they're probably all roughly about the same. Let's get it open. So it comes in a little bag. It is it's a hantihon. Hant hantihon? Hanthon. I don't know how you say that, but that's what it is. So I do like the fact it comes in a little bag. I might do some um, firebox videos with this instead of the actual firebox, or maybe put the firebox on it. So that's it. Oh, so now that's empty. And this is what we get. You get the mesh. You get some, you get some clips, and you get some poles. So let me try and assemble this now. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this one-handed. So these, so these actually come out. He says. Like that. There we go, so that's how it's supposed to be. You just rock them all over to the same side and then we should be able, there we go, to so just push these little legs in. Let's get that last one on. Legs are on, turned it over and then you want the, the poles with nothing on the end. They just slide in exactly like that. Okay, then what you need to do is you just need to push these pins through there on on each of the corners, basically. And then, if I can do this one-handed, oh, like that, so you squeeze that together and push it into the pipe, and then you do that on all four corners. And then I think what's gonna happen is it will create some tension across here. Um, so I'll just get those in. There we go, and now it's built. Um, so it's it's bigger than I thought. They tend to come in two sizes, these, so I went for the bigger one, obviously. It says on the box that it can support weights of up to five kilos, but I think for what we're looking to do with this, I think this is going to be really fun to use. Um, I think we should get some charcoal on there now and test it out. The reviews seemed pretty good on these. My prediction is that this mesh won't last that long, but we'll see. I'll do another video down the line. Um, so now I'm just gonna pile up some charcoal. If you imagine that we're on a campsite maybe, or in the woods. Now one of the questions I have is, will the ash drop down underneath? Will it burn too quickly? Because obviously there's airflow literally everywhere. Uh, will it scorch the ground um, underneath? I don't know. So we'll look at the temperature under there. So we'll just let that settle off now and see what it's like in five, 10 minutes. Okay, so we're about eight minutes in and I've made a lovely discovery. So imagine you've just spent a really crap night in a tent. It's been belting down, the wind's been blowing you're damp, you're cold, you light one of these up, I can tell you now, my feet, as minging as they are, are lovely and warm. It's so, so warm. Um, I'm surprised how warm it actually is. Um, but it's not hurting the ground at all, it's just kind of going into that air and then I suppose going up, but those coals are pretty much ready. So let's talk about the food. So in here, I have got some of Actually, this might be the best bacon I've ever had, actually. Um, it's from the Meat Men in Taunton. 
and I hunted it when I went down to see them. And this bacon has actually smoked for three days, three days smoking. Um, it is just phenomenal. So I'll, again, put the links down below for you to have a little look at. Now the plan is to pretty much just sit this on top and just shimmy those coals. So like that, and I'm hoping that, that the coals will naturally form a roughly even bed like that no hands and it shouldn't be long before we're cooking bacon's cooking really well feet are still warm coals are looking good it hasn't collapsed everything stayed in one piece i'd say we're on to a winner bacon's done coal's still piping hot lovely lovely bacon sandwich i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel if you're new i'm going to try lots and lots of different things this year my thoughts after having now used it is that it is genuinely a brilliant little bit of kit i was really skeptical about this because of potentially how flimsy it is but it's super lightweight which is great for um you know when you're traveling about i can actually move my hand all the way up that leg right underneath and it's not hot because it's so light, you can actually pick it up. You can even pick it up from uh, the tops of the edges. And it, although the coals, although the coals are piping hot, the edge isn't, which is perfect. So um, it is just keeping the heat really focused on that. So if it lasts, it's brilliant. Thank you very much to everyone who supports me, and I'll see you soon. Stay hunting. Stay hunting. Keep hunting.